yes, now I'm, I am going to play the right track, I think, from the Joss Stone CD. Uh, Never Forget My Love is in fact track two. And this, this CD is in uh, HMV, but it's gone off display very, very, very quickly. They have got five copies of it. I, don't, I, I think it's just me worrying about CDs. I think actually the CD's gone. And I'll, I'll, I'll carry on talking to, talking to um, John when he, when, he, when, he, when he arrives or later and let you know next week what, what we decided. Um, I, I mention this because I also do a play sometimes about a CD walk, walking around Exeter, looking where the CD shops used to be and asking the question, what's going to happen to education? And that seems to have completely gone. Um, that's to say the idea that education is going to move online. The, the Russell Group universities all made substantial surpluses during the lockdown because so many students were qualified and the restrictions all came off. Um, whether everything's so s simple and s successful for all the universities, I don't know. They're not telling us that. But they've, they've stopped suggesting that there's any benefit in moving online. It's all going to move back to the student experience as expected. Um, but I'm not sure that's happening exactly the same way on the planet. It may, it may just be a UK thing. If, I, if I've got this way wrong... Um, please, please let me know. W e n o t n o, we not know on Twitter or else will seven eight nine gb. Um, I'm just sort of reporting what seems to be happening, um, but it doesn't doesn't make a lot of sense to me because um, when it when it came, the, the the switch to streaming happened over quite a short time. It might have taken a long time to start. Um, but I, I uh, the, the other the other things. See, I'm just just going into a bit of a rave now because if John turns up about halfway through the show, he'll want to play a lot more music. I would think um, the student accommodation is is just um, shocking. Just as style, the buildings are are they're not in the same style as the other buildings, and the, so. I, I sort of think about this this area in two, in two ways. One is just an interest in um, the interwebby and digital and how that develops over time in various formats and situations. But then also just what the city looks like as an experience. Um, so I, I, I went to the St Luke's campus and, and tried to find the... Um, somebody in at the, the, the guild office but there wasn't anybody there but I've, I've left a message and twittered about it a bit um it seems to me that the student accommodation look is getting very close to the university as such um so to some extent it doesn't really matter from the point of view of the campus design what the student accommodation in the city center looks like but when it's dead opposite the um, cloister look. I know it's Victorian, but it's 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 sort of looking further back as architecture. The St Luke's design. How that's going to work opposite what's intended. I think if you look at the depot and imagine it three or four times bigger uh, on that site, but in the same sort of straight up take all the space available approach. I may, I may be being, being wrong about this. I'm, I'm hoping to get some feedback, but that's, that's the impression I have of, of the um, pictures that have appeared so far. The, the one in the Echo did get some grass into it, but that was by photographing it from way back in the St Luke's site and using the wall to disguise the road in the way. So it, it, looked, it looked all right, um, but it's, it's not... Um, I think I'll leave it there. Any 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 comments are very very, very welcome. Um.